हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज आशीष सैनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ वॉइस बॉट सो लाइक इन द लास्ट सेशन यू हैव सीन हाउ टू सेंड एन एक्सटर्नल मैसेज टू योर आसा चैट बॉट सो दैट योर चैट बॉट कैन रिप्लाई अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट सो सिमिलरली इन दिस सेशन ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेम पार्ट बट द थिंग इज दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द इनपुट एज योर वॉइस सो सिंपली we will say something in a verbal form and that verbal form will be converted into the textual part so in short what we are going to do is that is known as the speech recognition and also you can say it we are converting the data from speech to text so this is what we are going to do in a today session so what is speech recognition so speech recognition is a process in which a computer or device record the speech of a human and convert it into the textual format so this is what i just said so simply what your system or what your device is going to do is whatever you will say that voice will be recorded and that will be temporarily stored into your device and further that voice will be processed further so that that voice can be converted into the textual format right so this is all about the speech recognition and it is also known as the automatic speech recognition computer speech recognition or the speech to text that is what i said right so this is what we are going to do in a today session so we are going to do this with your rasa chatbot so that your rasa chatbot can be used as a voice bot to talk to the human just like a humans do with the other human beings right so this is what we are going to do so to do that part we have to go back to the program part and we have to see where we have to make changes so that your chatbot can work as a voice bot so let's go back to the program and let's see so this is the program that we have created in the last session where you have seen like how we have used your rasa chatbot and rasa chatbot was able to take the external message from the user and that message can be used further to give you the output right so this is how we have done the last session now today we have to take the voice as your input and you have to convert that into the textual part and that textual part will further be sent over here so that that can be used to process the next step right so this is what we are going to do but to do that part firstly we have to use some module that will be used over here and there are different ways to convert your voice to text right but in a today session we are going to use the module name speech recognition that has been designed by the google so we are going to use that part and that is very much accurate and that will consume very less space of your system so we will be using that part so for that what we have to do is we have to open the command prompt or let's say you have to open the terminal and inside that terminal you have to just activate your environment whichever you are using right now and also just go to the directory where you are right now or let's say where your rasa project is now for that what we have to do we have to just run these commands like here you can see this is a single command which you have to run in which we are going to install two modules the first one is the speech recognition and the second one is the pi audio so simply we are going to install the speech recognition and pi audio is the dependency for speech recognition as it will take care of all the audio and also it will be used to further process your audio right so this is what we are going to do and for that you just have to uh, write this command pip install speech recognition and the pi audio so just copy this and paste it over here and just press enter like here you can see requirement already satisfied as this is already installed on my system so i don't have to do it again but in your case when you will type this command it will start to install the packages and that will be installed inside your environment right so this is what we have to do over here so i'm done with this part after that uh, i have to write a program for it so i have already made one program so here is my program which we will be running in this case so that i can take the user's voice and that voice will be converted to the textual part 
so how you can see firstly what i have done is i have just imported the speech recognition module and i have imported it as sr and after that i have just used the class which is known as the recognizer from the speech recognition that will be used to process the further data right so if in case you want to listen the voice of the user or let's say of yours so in that case we'll be using some uh, method from the this speech recognizer right so we will be using this other than that if you want to like recognize the voice whatever the user has said in that case also you will be using this and you will be using one of the methods from inside of this so this is what we are going to do so in short you can say whatever is the task whatever is the task related to the voice that will be carried out inside this class which is known as the recognizer so that's why we have to just create an object using this recognizer so simply we are just initializing our recognizer so for that i have taken a variable r and inside that i have just created this sr dot recognizer and after that i have used this with statement and i hope oh, you already know like what is this with statement if you don't know then it's okay i will just repeat this process again so how what happen is if in case you're going to use the with statement at that time what happens is whatever is the task whatever you are going to do if in case you have to start your instance and at the end when your instance or when your task is completed if you have to close that part at that time what will happen is you don't have to close it inside your width right so if in case you're not using width then you have to definitely close it on your own but if you're using width you don't have to do it manually so this is what we are going to do so after that sr dot microphone and we are just calling it with the name source so that we can use it further and after that we are going to use this audio is equals to r dot listen within bracket source now what we have done with this source is with this sr dot microphone what i have done is i have just activated my microphone so if in case i am having a microphone attached to my system so at that time what will happen is it will activate your microphone now when you will start saying something your microphone will be able to record the voice whatever you're saying so that voice will be recorded into your end and for that we have just initialized this i have just activated the microphone and after that i have just printed this like my microphone has been started now you can say something right now when you are saying something i should record the voice so for that i am just using this r dot listen within bracket this so whatever you will say that will be recorded inside this audio right so this is the variable where i am storing all this thing now when you have said the voice whatever you want to say or whatever text you want to uh, get into your output so I have just stored it over here. Now my next task is to recognize whatever I have said, right? So in that case, what I am doing is I am using the try and accept statement because in this case, what happens is there are so many chances. Like you will definitely get some error, but in most of the cases you will not get error. So that's why I have just used this try and accept statement. So if in case I will get an error, then it at that time it will not uh, raise any exception. Instead, it will. show some message like sorry could not recognize your voice or something right so this is what we are doing over here now in the case of try what we are going to do is we are going to use the recognizer designed by google so we are just using that part and inside here we are just sending whatever we have recorded now google will uh, be used over here so in short you have to have an internet connection on your system so that your google can be accessed from your system so this is how we are going to do it now this will give you the result of your voice whatever you have said and this is the text that you want into your output right so i have got the text now i can just display it on your screen right now it's up to me like if i want to use it just to display or i want to use it further to do some tasks right so this is how we are going to just convert your voice into your text right so this is how we are doing it now let's just run this and let's see whether it is able to perform the task or it is able to convert your speech into the text or no so just 
save this and for now just run this hello how are you so here you can see when i have said hello how are you so it has converted your speech part into your textual part so this is what we actually wanted right so in this way what we can do we can just say anything whatever we want to say and that part will be converted into the textual part and after that when you got the textual part you can use it in whatever way we want to use it right so in our case what we want to do is we want to take this as input and that input will be sent to your rasa chatbot so that your rasa chatbot will take that input and then further it can reply to whatever you are asking the chatbot to reply right so this is how your chatbot is going to do now our next step will be what we have to take that input or let's say we have to take the output of your rasa chatbot and that output should be converted into the voice part right because this time your rasa chatbot is not taking the value in the form of a textual part your rasa chatbot is taking the values in the form of a voice so your rasa chatbot should also give the response in the form of a voice so this is our next step but today this is it i hope everything was very clear to you but still if you're facing any kind of a difficulties in the topic then please leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any kind of a videos from my side till then bye bye and happy learning